This is my worry worm buddy. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by so you can see my worry worms buddy. This is my worry worm buddy, my worry buddy. As when I was deciding how I was going to make his head, I made this one way too big when I was designing, but I thought it was cute. But I didn't want to put a tail on it with that was that long. So I changed him into not having a tail at all, and now he's just my stress ball. He's my worry buddy. I love him, and he's the cutest one in the world. I fuzzed him out. I'll show you how I do that in a little bit. But let's make this little guy. See, this is the exact same yarn right here. One is fuzzy, and one isn't. And it's really easy to do. It doesn't take very long either. So it's fun and makes them look a little bit different. So again, I am going to use Red Heart Americana. Red Heart Super Saver Americana. All right, so this guy, this little guy turned out so darn cute. Just because of the way that the yarn laid, I am going to use this yarn again and see what happens the second time around. So to make this great big guy right here, he is so cute. But see, I made this one too big when I was deciding, and I didn't want to frog him out. I just left him be cute. So we're going to do a magic circle. If you're not familiar, I have a tutorial. It's only a couple minutes long to do it the super easy peasy way, just like that. And in our magic circle, we are going to put in six single crochet. And I always like to mark the first one. Right now I'm working in the round and this yarn is a little dark. So I don't want to lose that stitch. So there's one. Remember, six single crochets total into our magic ring. Five and six. Pull this a little closed. Doesn't have to be super tight yet. We can work on that in a bit. And now we're going to increase from 6 to 12. So the way we do that is two single crochets in every stitch. So there's my first one and I'm going to mark it. And then another one in that same stitch. All the way around is our sequence, so we will increase up to 12. And 11 and 12. So now we have a circle and we're just working in a spiral here. And I used a Red Heart Super Saver. This is Americana, which is a four weight. It wants a five and a half hook, but I'm using my four millimeter ebony furls that I love because I want my stitches to be nice and tight. So we're going to increase one more time up to 18. So that is, this round is a single crochet in the first stitch. Move our stitch marker. And then our increase, which is two single crochets in the stitch. And then one and two in the stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around to get to 18 stitches. And 17 and 18. So there's another increase round. One more round of increase. So we're going to go up to 24. So we'll do a single crochet and move our stitch marker. And in the next stitch, one single crochet. And in the next stitches are increased, so there's two single crochets. And that's our sequence all the way around. 23 and 24. So now we've got, the circle's a little bit bigger. We need one more increase up to 30. One more increase. So again, the first stitch is a single crochet. And we're going to move our stitch marker. And then two more single crochets. So there's the second one and there's the third one. So let's start well, with three single crochets. And in the fourth stitch, we're going to put two single crochets and that's our increase. So it's one, two, three, and then two in the same stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. Here we go, 29 and 30. So now we're done increasing. All done increasing. He's going to be this big. My squishy, squishy stress ball head. I love him. The next five rounds are all just a single crochet around. So we have 30 single crochets 
in each round times five rounds. One, and I'll meet you back after you're done with all five rounds. And here's my last couple of stitches in my fifth round of 30. And that's number 30. Here we go. Now we have a ball. Getting very close to being a ball. So now we're going to decrease instead of increasing because we want it to be generally be a ball. Stress ball, stress ball. My little worry buddy, stress ball. That's what we want him to be. So we have to reduce. Decrease down to 24, which is the opposite of what we did up here. We increased from 24 to 30. Now we're going to decrease from 30 down to 24. So it's just the opposite of what we did before. We're going to single crochet one, two, and three. And then the next two get single crochet two together. So go through the first one, go through the second one, and loop through all three. Let's do that again. One, two, and three. And then a single crochet two together. So through the first stitch, through the second stitch, all through all three loops on your hook. One, and that's the sequence all the way around. Two, three, three and here's my last decrease so we're going to go through both stitches three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all three so we just did a reduce from 30 down to 24 we're going to do that again from 24 down to 18 so here's our first single crochet and I'm going to replace my stitch marker so it's single crochet one single crochet two and then single crochet two together. All the way around, that's our sequence. Single crochet one, single crochet two, single crochet two together. All the way around. And there's my last reduce. So single crochet two together. So now we're starting to close our ball. Easy, easy peasy. One more round of decrease. So a single crochet here in our marked stitch, move our stitch marker as always. Always do that when I'm working in the round. So our first stitch was a single and now we're going to do a reduction which is single crochet two together. Single crochet, single crochet two together. All the way around and I will decrease from 18 to 12. And here's my last decrease. The last two stitches are single crochet two together. Starting to close it up. So now would be a good time to pull this nice and tight and just tuck him in there. You don't need that tail to be showing at all. So now before this gets any smaller, we want to put eyes and stuffing. So let's pick out some googly eyes or safety eyes. Since this is three-dimensional, I'm using safety eyes because I don't like to do safety eyes on flat things and the pokey part's no fun. I don't like that part. I think I'll put his eyes right here. Just pick a spot wherever you think he's the cutest. So there's two safety eyes and two fasteners. This is the right side, obviously, because the, the wrong side is very obvious that it's the wrong side. It doesn't look right at all. Just pick out a place where you want to put the eyeballs, wherever you want to. You can put them anywhere. And before you put the locks on, just give it a try. See where they look cutest. See, I think he's just adorable. I like where they are. So now we're going to turn this inside out and put on your locks. And then we're locked in place. We're going to stuff his head. This little guy is my favorite. as full or as unfull as you want. That's perfect for me. Back into our loop and we're going to reduce one more time from 12 down to 6. So every time we do one stitch it's going to be two single crochets together. So there's one, two. And 
and single crochet two together. And there's my last one, single crochet two together. Now we're almost done. All you have to do is cut off enough to sew with. Pull this through. And thread our needle. And we just want to cinch those last six shut. Just like that. Make sure that you have a nice secure finish. A little knotted there. And I can just send my yarn straight through. Just pull on it a little bit. And now that's gone. And that tail will pop right back into his head. So now our perfect little stress ball is complete. If you want him to be fuzzy, like this, because he's so darn cute, you have a pet brush of any kind, or one of these brushes like this, and you just start going like this. It's really easy, it only takes a couple of minutes. And I just think he's adorable, he's so cute, so cute, I love him. It looks like a Furby. Now you worry when we'll have a big brother and it's a great stress ball. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.